Hey folks, today's uh, DevOps interview question is actually a coding question. The question is, um, in Golang, writes a code that will basically um, do a HTTP GET command on a known URL like example.com or test.com or google.com or ESPN.com, whatever. Your code will actually make that call uh, and, and, and make that HTTP GET call against that URL. That's the code we have to write in Golang. So to do this, first of all, any Golang package, it starts with the package, so we'll give it a name. And we'll just give it a name, because I think we in Golang, you have to have at least one pack, main package or something, but anyway, so I will go with that. Uh, not really relevant at this time. Next thing we have to do is define what packages we want to import for this to work. We will do this. We always need, I don't know why we need to put them in strings, uh, double quotes, but anyway, we do need, do need that. We always need the FMT package for print, to print, for printing stuff to screen. Uh, right now it's complaining because we're importing it, but we're not using it. All right, next, we also need the net slash HTTP package. We're going to use some of the codes, functions in that, methods in that package to make this happen. We, then we're going to need the iOS, not iOS, the IO package, uh, package because we're going to, because what will happen is this, when we call make the HTTP get call, it will just be a, a stream. To convert that st stream into a, a variable where you can store them all, you're going to need this other uh, method from IO, which you will see in a minute. Those are the three, three packages we need. Now we can start writing our main function. So that's our main function. And I don't know if this goes in this line or what. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now first thing we got to do is we actually uh, make a call using the method from net HTTP. And that method actually returns two things. It returns a response and it returns an error if there is an error. So we will say response comma error equals uh, HTTP dot get. That's the function conveniently named. And now it needs an URL. You see URL of string type. So we're going to start with doesn't really matter really HTTP colon 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 slash slash www.espn.com, let's say, right? And so we're going to get back and response um, stream and an error code or error message. So we're going to then now write, if there's an error, we should catch that. If error um, is not equal nil, then we need to send a message in this. I'm lazy, so I'm not going to um, print the error message. I'm just going to say FMT print, print. We're just going to say there, there was an error. That's what I'm going to say. OK, so we we'll cast the error there if there's an error. If not, we have the stream coming into the response. Now, we have to close the stream when this is done. Uh, it's, um, otherwise, we're going to leave all these network connections hanging around and empty variables and or unused you know, memory space and all that. So we're going to say defer. Uh, I'm trying to remember the syntax for this. Defer, I think, response dot body. It's interesting that that didn't say that. Um, Go with that for now, and then we can troubleshoot it later. Close. Something like that. It doesn't like response. Why? Undefined. Oh, because we did that. OK, so that should work. That will close up all the, all the connections when the stream is closed. Now, this is a stream. We can't print that. So what you can do is we can say, um, let's grab this. And this time we're going to use this um, package to read the stream into a, a, a readable stream of numbers. So we're going to, or bytes anyway. 
So we're going to say, um, let's just say body, body of the returned packet, body equals uh, IO dot read all, I believe is the function, read. So there's a function called read all. Yeah, there it is. Read all, and we're going to use actually it. It also returns two things: body and error. So we have to use that. Equals read all, and we're going to read response. Uh, I forget if um, I think that's right. It's complaining why. Not use, of course, because you haven't used it. That's fine. Cannot use response for type. I really, really, okay. What should I use in this case? Do, 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 do. I ordered all response. Okay, let's finish the coding and then we'll get back to this. So, anyway, now if this worked, um, body has basically a number of bytes. They're still, they're not, they're, they're still not strings. So, now we need to print fmt.print. Yeah, print is fine and we're going to say we're going to convert this string as this stream of bytes into strings string body okay and oh also after this we need to repeat this in case there was an error in doing that so we'll throw out the error this one error from URL, and this one is error reading incoming stream, let's say. Okay, now, what do I put on here? I read all response. Oh, maybe, maybe it has to be body also. Because response, yeah, response is has two parts. It, um, it returns body and the error. So I think that's it. Okay, no more errors in the code that I can see. There's a complaint about that. Oh, I didn't I didn't close the main function. Okay, fine. So that should stop complaining now. Okay, so I think we have this. Let's save that. And now we will run it in the right directory. Yep. So let's run this. Didn't like that. Line 37. Oh, because we have extra characters here. Save that. And there's our ESPN page in HTML and CSS. Um, if we change that to example.com what you will see is this is much shorter response command s run it again it's much shorter response now i also wanted to show you if i didn't convert this to a string what you will see you will see a bunch of bytes is what you're going to see command s and run it again you see it's a bunch of bytes <clears throat> anyway so i hope you, you found this uh, video useful if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video